to. Okay, guys, so uh, as you can see on the screen here, I have made a little TDS tier list. I use this as a, as a little template I found on, on the internet, and I'm currently on paint because I did this on paint. Because easy uh, for doing that, I got the images of the TDS wiki, so wiki, so <laughs> that's how we say it in the uh, in the accent. So uh, thanks to the creators of the wiki for providing the images. Now let's start. Let's start with the F tier, which I'm pretty sure everyone can agree with. Uh, Freezer has been just nerfed to absolute crap. He is a piece of garbage. He's a piece of garbage. Uh, I believe that when he was first added, everyone loved him. He was very good. He had an, uh, he had a very pro ability. Uh, but now he's been nerfed, nerfed to crap in the in, in the updates. Plus, he does literally no damage uh, on his first uh, upgrades. Okay, now let's move on to the murder, which I remember when my friend uh, had him from buying the game pass, and we used him as an uh, as an early game tower, and he he did that quite well, but now he's been completely nerfed to the, to the absolute ground. And uh, this, by the way, is Void Miner. This is the Yeehaw Tower, uh, which I know literally nothing about, and I I think I I think it actually is mostly unknown by the public. So yeah. I, ha I know nothing about it, so I put, put an S simply. While uh, Voidmire, I think, is useless because I've seen, uh, well, I've seen uh, it in action in a uh, in a John Roblox video. It does literally anything except build up like a corruption thing, which does nothing from what I know. Okay, okay, now let's get to the E tier because I only have ten minutes to record this video and I don't want to make it. Uh, Longer. Uh, so paint baller, paint baller was kind of good. Uh, I, I, he was actually quite good uh, before, and I remember that once his projectiles uh, w would actually kind of fly across the map to the zombie, and then uh, it would like kind of explode when it, when it hit the zombie. But uh, and it had a quite good splash. Uh, my brother used it a ton when he played, but it was, yeah. Now it's nerf jack, the absolute crap, just like the freezer and mortar. Uh, Rocketeer was also good, but nerfed, uh, but his fate was the same as the paintballer, mortar, and freezer. Okay, now D tier. Uh, Demo Man, I think, I think he's usable, but because of the way the splash works on this game, he isn't that good. Now, Medic, um, I have the same problem that John Robux has with this tower, because uh, I think that the heal is bad. The, the, the heal is literally, it does, that's too less to be actually worth using, and I know the damage is quite a ton, it's better than militant actually, uh, and, uh, but, but the ability doesn't work. So just because of that I put medic and D. Now uh, in C I will, I will probably have to explain myself. So I put sniper in C because I think that uh, simply scout is better than him because scout is better than him because uh, because his fire rate is absolute garbage. Uh, his up his upgrades are overpriced uh, and his damage is quite low. There are a lot better towers like you can use a mini gun or a Kuruk, bo or a Kuruk boss. That that would be actually a very better uh, a, a better idea instead of a sniper. Now militant. Um, Militant, I have to explain why it's higher than Medic. I think it's better than Medic because even though John Robux proved that, me proved that Medic has a higher DPS, uh, I think the high higher frame rate, I mean, not frame rate, f higher uh, fire rate that the Militant has makes, makes it quite quite good. And I also believe that it is a it is a better early game because the, the Medic costs like nine, 900, Militant costs 750. And he fires like he fires like an M4. He fires like do 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 do, and medic with like do do. So that's why it's so. That's why 
Yeah, that's why it's stupid. <laughs> in my, uh, I, my brain, I don't know. And a commando. A commando, I believe, is. I believe he's average, to be honest, because. Yeah, he was good, but he had enough to crap. Same with Slasher, he had a, uh, or Sh Shredder, as the previous old OGs know him. Uh, I think Scout, now in B tier, I think Scout is actually quite good for for what he's worth. I think he's quite good for what he's worth because uh, his upgrades are not overpriced. Uh, he, does quite a, he does quite a lot of damage, and his golden skin is uh, is used in speedruns of molten of molten and quite a lot of times. Uh, Electro Shocker I put here because he's very good in getting away. Many people call him the carry and I do that as well but from what I've seen because I haven't actually done hidden wave once um, but from what I've seen him use in hidden wave gameplays I I think it's very very good now frost blaster I believe is just way better freezer um, his, his freezing takes more time his upgrades are quite well are quite better and he's an er a good early game same with archer archer is good early game but he was better before now, Soldier, I have to explain why I put in A. Soldier, I believe, is... Soldier, I believe, is unlike what others think of him. I think he's a, uh, he's a very good beginner tower. Uh, his golden skin is good as well. That, that's my opinion. Just saying. Uh, his golden skin is good, in my opinion. So, yeah, just saying that. And now, Ace Pilot. Ace Pilot, I think, is also good. Uh, he costs only a thousand five hundred, and he's also good at hardcore. And uh, now Pyro, I have to explain though because it's kind of controversial. Uh, you see, uh, defense melting. That's all I have to say. Defense melting. Now Shotgunner is very good. He's a, he's an extremely good early game tower. He used to be enforcer, which made him, which also gets him a good reputation. Now DJ, I believe, is a good, uh, is a good support. Not as good as Commander. Or toxic gunner, but yeah, he's a very, very, very good support. Plus Nico DJ and uh, and Neon Riot DJ. And a mini gunner, I think, is also a very good tower. It's not as good as Ranger or, or Accelerator, but he does his job of being of being the beginner's accelerator. Uh, Crook Boss, I put here in A because I simply like him. I like his ability of being able to spawn, uh, being able to spawn uh, troops. I'll say that, and his damage is quite well. His golden skin makes it even better. Uh, Swarmer, I've used him myself, and he's not actually as good as people make him out to be. Uh, just saying. I think his. Uh, the only thing that makes him good is uh, the his uh, his uh, big big grenade ability and the fact he costs uh, three hundred to, to place. Hunter I think is way better than people make him out to be. Yes, he was lifted to the ground, but he, he, he's still ver very good. Now S tier, I think I don't have to explain. Farm, farm of course everyone knows this farm is. Farm is used by many pros, and it's it's a it's a very good tower, you know. It's a very good, very good tower. Now mil military base, uh, I also think it's very good because it's it's a very very good early game tower. It's very good for hardcore and stuff. And our commander, the best support tower in the game. I don't have to explain. A ranger is the best cliff tower in the game. He does a, sh a crap ton of damage. Accelerator is from Hardcore, he's earned pretty hard, but you worked hard for him, but it's very, very good in turn. Now, Pursuit, uh, Pursuit I think is very good as well, he fires rockets, his upgrades are, are pretty good, but I think he's kind of overpriced. Cowboy is basically a, uh, is basically a, a shooting farm, Gladiator is very good, Toxic Gunner is very good too, he slows down items as well. Sludger is basically uh, a freezing gladiator, which makes him very well, very good. Sentry was good, but is removed. Mecha base, uh, mecha base is an admin only, but it's very good from what I've seen in videos. Same with War Machine. 
Alright, that's my video. I hope you enjoyed that. And, um, if you have any questions, ask them below. Um, also, I I didn't explain as that way that, uh, that much because, you know, it's already crossed 10 minutes. And I'm scared about the upload time, but I can't. Uh, so bye, I hope you enjoy, like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and uh, yeah, that's it.